So it is through the evaporation of our sweat that our bodies cool down? That is unexpected. Which is also why you feel cold whenever you get wet in the rain and step into a dry place. Like an air-conditioned room, the water evaporates off your skin, taking heat with it and cooling down the body. Oh, well, no wonder I feel really cold after being drenched in the rain. It becomes even worse in the air-conditioned room, with the air conditioner blowing right over my head. That's true. Which reminds me, there are quite a few factors that affect how fast water evaporates. Do you want to try to name a few? I can say the one that was affecting me just now, the wind, because it is really cold under the air conditioner. That is right. When there is wind or movement of air, the rate of evaporation is faster. Which is why when you want to cool your soup before you drink it, you blow on it. Ah, that explains why. But teacher, what is the mechanism behind this? Well, to put it simply, a certain volume of air can only mix with a certain amount of water vapour before it becomes too full to carry more water vapour molecules. Thus, when there is a movement of air, the initial chunk of air with the water vapour in it gets pushed away and a new batch of fresh air with less water vapour replaces the initial batch of air. Thus, this speeds up the evaporation rate. That makes sense. But teacher, you said there are more factors that determine the rate of evaporation, right? Yes. So the movement of air is only one factor. Let me guess the other factor. The temperature of the water could be another one of those factors? You are absolutely correct. The kinetic molecular model of matter states that the kinetic energy of the molecules corresponds to the temperature the object has. Thus, at higher temperatures, the liquid molecules move faster and the number of molecules with enough kinetic energy to escape increases, thus increasing evaporation rate. True. That makes perfect sense. So the higher the temperature, the higher the evaporation rate. Yes, lastly, we also have the surface area of the liquid, which is the surface of the liquid that is exposed to the air. What about the surface area? Well, the more spread out the liquid, the larger the surface exposed to the air, and the higher the rate of evaporation of the liquid. For example, water on a plate would dry up much faster as compared to the same amount of water in a glass. That makes sense. In Singapore, people drink coffee by pouring it onto the accompanying saucer. Well, I think the locals want to cool down the coffee to drinkable temperatures by letting some of the liquid evaporate. As you can see, the coffee cup has a small surface area, while the saucer allows the coffee to be spread out over a larger surface area, and that allows a faster rate of evaporation. And as you know, evaporation results in the cooling of the liquid. That is why they do that. Interesting. I want to try this next time.